Okay. Um, I'm going to be talking about the workability and disadvantage claims. Um, my first special workability claim was that family communication cannot be enforced. Um, family communication can be enforced, actually. It's done with everything from R-rated movies in high school to field trips and medica medication. They, the parent gets the consent form. They have to fill it out, sign it, and send it back. So the communication can be enforced. Um, there will be some people who will apply for the parent signature, but on the most, on, for the most part, um, the form will actually work. Um, the second workability claim was that young women will seek unsafe illegal abortion though the number of abortions in countries where it is legal and illegal are about the same. I found that the approximate number of abortions in the last 20 years is about 4.35 million teens aged 15 to 19. Um, and before abortion became legal, the number of abortions was around 0.2 million to 1.2 million. And that was in about a 15 to 20 year span before it became legal. Um, my first disadvantage claim was that parental notification may expose to young women to physical abuse or cause them to get kicked out of their homes. There will be exceptions to the rules, but to override this um, consent from a parent, the teen must go to a judge and present a reasonable case. And though the process may be complicated, the judicial system knows that it is important to get this case through quickly. And it is in one of our amendments, after all, that for speedy um, cases. So, um, <coughs> they will know the importance of getting these cases through quickly. The second disadvantage claim was that forced parental notification will jeopardize the doctor parent relationship. For most medical care, a parent needs to give consent and be notified of everything the doctor does. A doctor must also tell the parent everything, um, any medical problems that the minor might have. So, it would, abortion would, just be, would become another medical procedure for minors. Just like the just like any other medical procedure that minors have. Uh, the third disadvantage claim was that the money spent on enforcing this law would be better invested in educating teens on preventive methods. At the moment, one point seventy three billion dollars is spent on safe sex education. Uh, this even though they're spending so much money, it's not the rate of sex in with teens is only decreasing by a few percentage points. So all the money they're going into um, safe sex isn't doing much. Uh, 